Good evening and welcome to the first ever NIT IIT special introduction class. This is for the CAT 2017-2018. Some of you are looking at uh, uh, cracking this exam in the coming year or the year after. The agenda for the class is very simple. I'm going to take you through what was CAT 2015, what are the cutoffs and percentiles, what have been the IIM cutoffs, what are the issues. When we also looking at, we are also looking at how cluster determined happen, which is what, why you are here in the first place. We'll also look at why, what are the number of classes that we'll give you and how we will take you through the CAT exam. It's also important that for every class that we spend time with you, how is it that you are improving? How do we know that you are improving? How do we ensure that over a period of time there is a track record of the improvement and or knowledge levels preparation levels of each one of you. That is where we talk about uh, polls and teaching method. Believe me, while we can do it offline also, but this method, it's kind of permanently edged in a, uh, you know, uh, on data in that sense. Then we'll also look at very importantly for you, um, how do we, how do you guys improve your CV value? I mean, it's, it's, it's very useful, very important for you to understand that there are tons and tons of people who are doing engineering. Forget about the 15 lakh people that we are discussing who are doing their engineering every year, but I'm only worried about only the IITs and the NITs. Put together, there are about 50 of them. There used to be a time when there were very, very few IITs and a, you know, a handful of NITs. But today we are talking about 30 odd NITs and 20 odd IITs, that's 50 plus uh, of them, not, with, not counting the triple ITs and the bits pilanis in various campuses and probably the state number one, number two colleges across the 29 states that we have. So automatically, we are really talking about a huge amount of possible competition. Whether or not there is real competition, we'll discuss. But potential competition for these, from, from among these students is very real. And that is the reason why if you are targeting getting into an IIM, and typically I'm talking about the top few IIMs, I think it is not just enough to have a 10th class marks or a 12th class marks or for that matter, even a degree engineering marks. Something that you can add value to over the next one year or two years, depending on how much time do you have for the CAD exam will make a huge difference. And lastly, of course, we will also take, quickly introduce you to people at time, uh, people in the next one, two years, how Wistamind and Wistamind's people will help you in getting there. Okay, so that's the CAT 2015 uh, uh, to start off with as a quick agenda. This is the pattern. Most of you already know about this pattern, I'm pretty sure. But if you don't, I think it's a good idea to understand what the pattern has been, what has come in the CAT exam, what is it that you are expected to learn over the next uh, one year or two years. Again, as I said, depending on then you're writing the exam. The CAT 2015 pattern is going to be very, very similar. By the way, CAT 2016 pattern is going to be very similar to 2015 pattern. So therefore, my bet is even the 17 one will be very, very similar. We have seen this over the last 20 years that the CAT exam, the pattern has repeated three times at least. Two to three times you will always see it. And even if there is a change, there's going to be a marginal change in the pattern. Last year's pattern, where you can clearly see is... Uh, and, and my, my suspicion is going to be the same for this year also. There were totally 34 questions in verbal, 32 in data interpretation and logical reasoning, and 34 in quant, a total of 100 questions. This exam was for 180 minutes, where each section, they had, the time limit given was 60 minutes for each. When you talk about 60 minutes for each, it's a long time, given that the number of questions are only 34. As you can see, we are talking about close to 1.8 minutes. That's more than one and a half minute, obviously. Close to two minutes per question to be solved, if, even if you want to solve all the 100 questions. Believe me, there is a serious possibility that a lot of you, many of you, can attempt all 300 on 300. Whether it is really possible, what is the marks required, I'm going to use uh, this occasion to kind of introduce you to that. The interesting thing, as you can see here, till last year, 
till last year, that is till 2015, there were no non MCQs. Non MCQs meaning non multiple choice questions. MCQs are multiple choice questions. I'm sure already you know this, but I'm just introducing. 24 out of the 34 were MCQs. The pattern of marking for them was plus 3 marks for every correct answer and minus 1 for every wrong answer. Of course, 0 for not attempting. No marks negative, uh, deducted also. But if you look at quantitative ability, 19 questions were multiple choice and 15 were non-MCQs. And for non-MCQs, there was no negative marking at all. All were plus 3 if you get it right. If you don't get it right, it's 0 marks. You don't, if you lose, if you don't attempt it and or get it wrong, you will still get zero marks for that. That's the, that, that is the kind of a pattern that was there for CAT 2015 and will repeat, the pattern will repeat for CAT 2016 also. Very interestingly, what you need to understand why plus three and minus one are important. Why plus three and minus one? Because every question in CAT has four choices all of you are engineers therefore you will understand this because all of i mean if there are four choices and if you attempt all four questions let's say you attempt four questions randomly you will get one fourth of them right that is you will get one correct and three wrong given that you will answer four questions completely randomly without understanding the basic background so that's exactly the idea. If you get one correct, you will get plus three marks and you get three wrong, you should get minus three marks or the net net should be zero. The IAMs are very smart. In fact, that's true for any competitive exam that if you are randomly guessing, ideally you should get zero. Okay, it's a different issue but that uh, whenever uh, you do the random guessing, you only seem to get it wrong. I'm sure you have seen in some of the exams that you have written in life too. But on an average, on an average, when we look at it, it is very, very clear that if you just randomly guess, ideally you should get a zero. In non-MCQs, it's almost impossible to guess because it's a fill in the blank. If you get it, great. If you not get it, it's almost impossible to calculate that because there is no choices available. So in that sense, there are no negative markings also. I think it's only fair the way the marking scheme is. Right? This is the marking scheme, guys. 2016 paper is going to be exactly the same. By the way, the exam is on December 4th. The moment the exam is over, we will update you on how the paper was, what the cutoffs would be, and therefore, what we expect, what it should be for CAT 2017 also, those of you are interested in 17. And of course, for 18, we will take that a little more further. Right? Uh, this Therefore, friends, is the CAT 2015 pattern. Let's look at what areas. See, when lots of people think about it, CAT is an easy exam. There is zero doubt about it. I have always said that. Uh, anytime you will listen, uh, listen to me talking about it, you will feel that it's probably the most easiest exam. Given, a, given that quite a lot of you have written IIT, JE, or IEEE, you will find that this is far more easier because it's just apt. This is simple aptitude that you already know. And... You will also realize if it is aptitude, the only thing I will share all the slides, Kishore. In fact, every class that we do, in fact, this is Kishore asking me a question on chat that will I share the slide? Every class that we do, will we use a PowerPoint presentation? We'll also, I'll show you how we will use the polls in the class itself, and every PPT will be given to you. Every class will get recorded and also will be available to you on your portal such that anytime you want to go back and check, you can go back and check at any point of time also. So that, you know, you can really almost like a YouTube video, you can go to the right place where you want to check it out. Okay, here is where I want you to give you a complete overview of the CAD exam. It is an exam. I'm, in fact, this is something which I always tell. You guys have cracked your 8th, 9th and 10th classes. Some of you have got 90 plus marks also. Ideally, this should be very easy. And that is what it is we are talking about. But unless systematic preparation is done, unless systematic preparation is done, believe me, a lot of people don't make it. If it is true that it is, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a myth 
that only the IITNs and the NITNs get into the IIMs. The reason, I, I'm not saying they don't get into the IIMs. I am saying it's the myth that only they get into the IIMs. The reason is, if that, is, that, was, that were to be true, if that were to be true, uh, all the 5,000 seats should have been easily, easily uh, picked up with... Uh, easily uh, could have easily got, uh, I mean, almost all the 5,000 should have been filled with only the NITs and the IITs. But that is not true, simply because this is aptitude, 8th, 9th, and 10th class exam, which you would have passed in quant and DI and probably verbal ability, anybody can do it. In fact, we see every year in the IIMs, MBBS students also get through too. And anybody who goes through this level of preparation for CAT, any other competitive exam in aptitude, one can easily crack. As Divya was just asking me, is this enough for cracking a GMAT or a GRE or a aptitude for gate, my answer is 100% yes. Of course, for an exam like a GRE or for an exam like a GMAT or for an exam like a gate, there the patterns will be different, obviously. If the patterns are different, you need to adapt yourself to that pattern, obviously. But the basic ingredients remain the same. And that is the reason why our preparation that we're going to take you through over the next few months is going to be extremely thorough so that any one of you want to write any other exam, you should be comfortable in cracking that exam if you prepare well for it the way we are doing it. Very quickly to take you through why it takes long time. Lots of people ask me this question. Sir, when should we prepare for the CAT exam? Should we start in the last three months, last six months, one year? Or should I start off when I'm in the first year of engineering itself? There is no correct answer. It is about you. But what I can tell you for sure is the areas that come are very, very obvious. There are a lot of verbal reasoning questions, including para jumbles, you know, jumbled up paragraphs. Odd para jumbles, you know, there are a jumbled paragraph given out of which only one sentence is an odd number out of the entire sentence. Para completion, there is a complete sentence, a complete sentence missing in a paragraph. You need to use the right sentence to complete a paragraph. Critical reasoning, this is one of the most important things. Divya, for, G, uh, for GMAT, this is extremely important. Critical reasoning, in fact, for all important exam, it's important. In fact, it's very essential. Summary of a paragraph. This is interesting. This is more of grammar, by the way. While it is not called grammar, but that's exactly what it is. Pressy writing you would have done in your 10th class. You know, it's called precise writing. It's pressy writing. That is what the pronunciation is. You're given a long paragraph, you want to write the gist of the paragraph. That is summary of the paragraph. In fact, in the mock test that is there on the iamcat.ac.in website, the IAM original website today, they have given that in the mock test, there are at least three such summary of the paragraphs, which means chances are for CAT 2016, three of them or four of them can come in. But the underlying theme of the whole of verbal ability is reading comprehension, ensuring that when you read, you understand what you read. Enhancing your grammar, there are eight parts of speech, but a lot more than parts of speech which, are, which, which entails grammar, like subject, subject, verb agreements, adjective, noun combinations, parallelism, you know, too infinitive, etc. kind of things. Let's not get into the jargon today. That's not the purpose. Vocabulary, improving your diction, improving your understanding of words and the usage of words is going to enhance your ability in verbal tremendously. While we do not say this, that the NITNs and the IITNs are very good at quantitative ability. I mean, it's nice to say this. But the areas that a lot of you have to prepare on, and we will spend a lot more time on, is this area called verbal ability and reading comprehension. It's not that we'll give you only questions, but also kind of help you, you know, make uh, summaries of uh, uh, reviews of books that needs to be written, etc., kind of things, or you know, even improving your communication skills through uh, uh, 
uh, two minute videos, two min uh, or one minute audios that we would kind of make you do and send it to us, and we'll give you feedback on that. It's almost like an extempore topics which will give you over the next one year and two years to make you absolutely ready for post cat also, not just pre cat. The areas which would be easy, I'm not saying very easy, but definitely possible for the guys from IITs and NITs especially are these three areas. Fundamentally, you guys are problem solving guys. You've spent a lot of time doing maths, physics, and chemistry, especially in 11th and 12th class, and probably IIT JE training itself. And hence, the thinking would be in the right place. Your ability to think will be in the right place. And hence, I believe, whether it is tables, line graphs, bar graphs, pie charts, spider graphs, scatter diagrams, or the combination of the above, for data interpretation, would be easier if your calculation speeds are good. And that is where we will concentrate on. One, you need to understand the you know, data, and of course, after that, calculate the data. Logical ability also has a lot of areas, like syllogisms, you know, uh, all A's are B's, all B's are C's, therefore, what can I say? I can say all A's are C's. Like connectives, if P, then Q. You know, those of you who are in electronics and communication or computer science, you will realize that all these AND gates, NAND gates, OR gates, they're all nothing but logic gates, which are something to do with connectives in that sense. Then all these puzzles like linear arrangements, circular arrangements, selection, distribution, four people are in four different cities with four different cars and four different colors of the cars. How do you match them? That is distribution, networks and routes. The Venn diagrams, extremely important as far as the exam is concerned. And of course, cubes. There's one area which I've missed out here is called games and tournaments. Games and tournaments is another big area which can come either in data interpretation and or in uh, uh, logical ability. And lastly, but not the least, obviously can quantitative aptitude. You guys are all comfortable in arithmetic. This is 8th, 9th and 10th class. Algebra, you should be comfortable even in the 11th class there was algebra, especially the basics of algebra on set theory, etc. Uh, quadratic equations, progressions, indices, logs and thirds, inequalities. These are what is... Uh, what conforms algebra, not really high level algebra at all. Numbers and number systems. This is one area if you can do, you will get half the, I mean, almost seven, eight questions in this. Geometry and menstruation. Again, what you have done in your ninth and 10th classes with all the theorems. Basic pure math. Permutations and combinations. Basics of coordinate geometry. Basics of trigonometry, heights and distances. That is what comes in pure math. No probability ideally, but of course we teach you probability because it will be useful for an exam like Xavier's, uh, Xavier's admission test. Then Venn diagrams once again comes back in quantitative ap aptitude. And of course, any kind of a logical question can also appear in quant aptitude. Now, as you can see, why I'm giving you this as a precursor or a kind of a primer to your class is because these are friends what come in cat. So that is the reason why, you know, pick, we, we as, 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 as Mr. Mind, what we'll try to do is, Every topic that is important in CAT and has ever come in CAT, we will pick one by one and make sure that you guys are comfortable in terms of basics. You know, our, our methodology is very, very simple. While we believe that you guys are good, we don't assume that you are good. We believe that you are good. That's why we are coming to you and giving you all the, you know, uh, to the doorstep our classes. But at the same time, I, we don't want to make a... a, a assumption that you guys are great and that's also not a great idea too because you need to be you know humble enough to understand whatever it is. even if it means that two hours you're spending and getting some idea two hours uh, i mean a uh, one concept that you're getting i think it's a wonderful thing that you can get so we will ensure that every class will start with the basics and then with the help of a lot of exercises and a lot of examples we will make sure all the concepts which are taught, uh, taught in the basics are applied in the exercise. That application is what you should be good at. The last level is where the speed comes into picture and for the speed, there are multitude of tests available for you to kind of en enhance. We will also talk about test taking strategies. Those of you have written the actual CAD exams, you will also realize uh, uh, actual IDJ exams and all the other exams that you've written. It is not just knowledge that matters. It is also utilization of the time, speed, and probably 
the right uh, you know picking of the right questions which makes the exam become easier so this in a nutshell is what you will need to learn before your cat exam as simple as that that's the, that's the plan guys and that plan we will kind of make sure that you will be ready by the time you are getting into the exam as such before i go into i'll said my agenda those of you have just joined in guys i'll just go go back to the agenda for a moment i talked about cat 2015 then i talked about what is all about cat then we will just quickly talk about cat percentiles and what are required to get into the iims then straight away get into what we will do at uh, wisdomine and of course a little bit of extra gyan probably will be useful for you to look at how your cv can get enhanced uh, properly so before i get into cutoffs and percentiles i think it just might be useful for you to understand what a percentile is a percentile is nothing but a percent the percentage of people below your mark for example if there are 100 people writing the exam and you are the first ranker your percentage people below you is 99 and your percentile also is 99 if you are 10th ranker 90 people are below you or 90% people are below you hence your percentile is 90 if 1 lakh people write the exam your first rank is you are the first ranker remember not the your top mark not 300 out of 300 your percentile will be 99.999 because there are 99999 people below you in other words your percentile will be 99.99 or overall it will be 100 percentile which will be given because the iims do not give a third decimal vikram is asking an interesting question sir will you provide us with shortcuts for specific type of problems to improve the speed in incidentally friend for all the topics whether it is quant or for that matter even di or may i just say this even for reading comprehension there are two ways in which we will deal with this entire thing our classes the first area is the basics area so that you know how to do the traditional method some of you already are good at it so we will cater a little bit of time for the traditional method too but as i said it's a competitive exam there is no point in wasting time hence every type of question which has any kind of a shortcut or i use this word not shortcut but i use this word intuitive uh, vikram intuitive is very useful because if you understand the logic and the common i mean the, the the concept of it you will intuitively get your answer of course through certain you know you can always use the word as shortcut in that but it's intuitive and that is exactly what we will go to talk about in fact you will realize when we do percentages when we do time and work time and distance or for that matter algebra that nothing that you have learned in your 8th 9th and 10th will come back to us in the classes we will kind of at least i'll tell you 80% will be a revelation for you for some of the kind of questions that's my guarantee okay you will realize this as we go along only for areas like you know simple equations linear equations and or certain areas like venn diagrams and cubes even cubes will change it so certain areas which are traditional areas like logarithms and search there are not many new methods but whole of arithmetic a uh, uh, bit of numbers there are shortcuts in that sense fair enough now this is what is percentile guys if there are 1 lakh people writing the exam and you are 1000th guy that is 1000 is 1% as you can see 1000 out of 1 lakh 1 1 by 100 that is the reason why you will get a 99 percentile if you are 2 lakh people if you are in the top 2000 you will get a 99 percentile in that sense of the word right this is what the cat uh, last year's cat marks were if you just quickly look at it to get a 99.9 percentile one had to get 209 out of 300 mind you this is 696 almost 70% 210 is 70% if you get 70% of the mark of the total mark you will get a 99.9 percentile which is absolutely the top almost no chance you will not get into any of the iims even at this if you can see at 99.5 you are expected to get only about 64% of the marks of the total marks and at 60% of the mark which is supposedly the first class mark in any exam 
you will get a 99 percentile except for Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, probably Lucknow, you will get every, every institute in the country. That is what we are talking about as this. Uh, once again, let me tell you, Kishore, I will share this slide and everything else also so that you have it as a reference point. You have always as a reference point so that you don't miss out anything on this. This are the last year's cutoffs, almost the last two years cutoffs. Very, very quickly, if you want to get into IIM Ahmedabad or Calcutta, you need a 99.65 plus percentile if you are general category. By the way, guys, if you have OBC certificates and or if you have a SC or ST certificates or a physically challenged, physically uh, you know disabled certificates, the percentiles will be far, far lower. We can take it up offline. Those of you have that kind of things, but this is for general category. We're talking about 99.65 or about 195 marks out of 300 and you are going to make it to the IIM Ahmedabad from the Calcutta of the world. Bangalore and Lucknow, it's about slightly less, two questions less you do also, you are still getting there with the 187 marks out of 300. This is last year's exam. It can change depending on the difficulty level of the exam. FMS, again a very, very important exam, top five in the country. I am Koi Code, I am Indore, I am Shillong. The cutoffs are 98.5 percentile and about 170. See the drop that is happening for about 0.8 percentile. All the new, old new IAMs, I'm using the word old new. These are Ranchi, Kashipur, Rotak, Ranchi, Raipur, Trichy, and Udaipur. This cutoff last year was 96.8. It can at best be 97, which is 156 marks. 155, mind you, out of 300, that's about 50 percent close to and you are getting into the new IAMs. Of course, ultra new IAMs is also extremely simple. I mean, this is for general category. For other categories, you can clearly see the marks required will be very, very less. Those students of your friends who have these OBC, SC, ST certificates, I think you should tell them, guys. I know it because you're not even competing with them if you are a general category student. They will make it comfortably, very, very comfortably in that sense. Hi, Venkatesh. Uh, you can't hear me. Uh, can somebody help uh, him once? Srinivas or Dheeraj, uh, you can see that Venkat is uh, online and he's not able to hear it seems. Aram Shetty Venkatesh. Uh, I think maybe he is uh, not switched on the, the thing. Uh, similarly, Ganesh also may not have switched on his uh, uh, audio. Can you please help either of them, both of them rather? Right, let me continue with the class. In the meantime, I'll just send it to everybody. Uh, Ganesh and Venkatesh. Please rejoin or join the audio if you haven't. Okay. He's there, yeah. Gunda Ganesh is there. I don't know why it automatically. Okay, the, yeah, the, basically the idea is to make it into a one-on-one -on -one class while all of you are there, about 14 of them are there in the class. I have kind of not uh, given the freedom to I mean, talk to each one of them because it's only going to be a, a first class. But in the actual classes, each one of you can speak to everybody else in that sense. Don't worry about that. Okay. Not only the author, you can also message to each other also individually. Right, so these are the IAM cutoffs, guys, as you can see very, very uh, clearly. Right. Once again, this exam called a CAT is a very interesting exam. It's not a, it's a, it's not a memory exam, it's a skill exam. It's, if you notice, it's English skills, verbal skills, data interpretation skills, logical reasoning skills, or quantitative skills. It's all about skills. By the way, MBA is all about skills. That's what I keep telling. In fact, those of you who have met in Suratkal and other places, and those of you who have come from Varangal and uh, Calicut, you will realize that whenever we talk to you, it's all about uh, MBA is being a skill-oriented exam rather than a memory-oriented exam. The preparation needs sound fundamentals, a lot of practice, making sure that you improve every other area, and especially what area you are not good at, you have to have to put in effort. We will ensure that the, you get this right smart approach and the right uh, mock test. And here is where we come into picture to get you exactly what you want individually. One of the reasons Divya, we would like to make it a one-on-one -on -one is simply because I want 
to make you understand that finally it is you who has to get in. You can always talk to the rest of the world at large, but you need to get in yourself. Okay, and that is what makes a lot of difference. This is therefore our plan for you, friends. I said this class is going to be for our, it's only to kind of give you a lot of introduction. Our class, this is minimum classes. In addition to this, we kind of give individual classes, especially looking at each person's abilities as such. But for verbal ability, there are going to be grammar, seven classes, taking you through all the important areas. Vocabulary. How do we improve vocabulary? Again, this vocabulary, I can take 20 classes like GRE, as somebody was asking me whether it is enough. But I'm going to give you the direction of how you can improve and use the app. We have an app through which we kind of feed you with a lot of vocabulary areas over the next one year so that you can really improve upon that. We will give you slip tests, small tests, big tests, so that in that sense of them, you are never forgetful about whatever you need to read and learn. Verbal reasoning, all the areas, like somebody asked, is there shortcuts just now for quant? Believe me, friends, even for areas like para jumbles, you know, para jumbles are what? Finally, you are talking about, there is a paragraph given to you with four or five passages and you are four, four or five sentences and you are jumbling it and giving it to you in numbers one, two, three, four, five. And I need to unjumble it to get a proper paragraph. Two, three, four, five, one. Let's say this is my correct. How do I get that? Is there a method in the madness? And my answer is yes, there is a huge method in this madness. There are formulae that you will have to understand. This, these formula or the, these kind of formulae are exactly the way, the same way they are used as they are used in your quantitative ability area. Except that the difference between quantitative ability and let's say a verbal ability is that quant is a objective type of a formula which can be used and you will get only one answer. If your rule, if I'm using this word rule or the formula is not perfect in verbal ability because it is a, a little bit subjective, there, is, there, are, there are poetic licenses that the authors can take, you will probably make mistakes. So therefore, unlike in quant, the way we look at it is, if quant you understand the formulas, the chances of you getting accuracy is 100%, whereas in a verbal ability section, while it is close to being 100%, but it probably will be in the 80 to 90% section. That's one of the reasons you will also find that there are people who will get very, very high marks in quant and DI, but not really always very, very high marks in verbal ability. That, that's been the case all the time and that continues to be the case, I think, even now. So our entire story of verbal will be about 17 classes at the minimum. This is for, by the way, CAT 17 guys. For CAT 18, there will be almost double the number of classes because we believe that there is so much more we can, we can make them learn and all of these will be separate classes. Only today's class is kind of a combined class, right? And of course, there are a lot of reading material, Vista Career magazines that we give you and a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, GK material which we'll share with you on the portal that we have. For data interpretation, there are going to be minimum six classes plus another three classes for revision for people when it comes closer to the CAD exam. Nine full classes. Similarly, logical reasoning, there are five classes which will kind of make sure that all the five uh, classes will kind of, you know, at least give you what you require as far as the logical ability is concerned. Then when we give you more sessions, it is more to do with testing and solving the tests in that sense. So quantitative, there are going to be 21 classes where the first class itself will be on speed mathematics and quant foundation. While I said we believe you guys are good, let me assure you we can show you a trick or two actually more of how to add itself. Forget about everything else in the world. We will show you how you can add better how to subtract better, how to ensure that your multiplication better. If you have already done Vedic mathematics, you will realize that it will be very useful for you in your CAD exam also. And that's a very, very interesting thing. Arithmetic. There will be at least six classes in arithmetic, five classes in algebra, three classes in numbers, three classes in geometry. These two areas form almost 50% of the paper, 50% of the paper almost if not 50, 40% of the paper at least. And that is what 
why these two topics are going to be given special emphasis on not just once but twice over when we look at the actual actual uh, final cat preparation in that sense in other words we are talking about 49 classes at the minimum for your batch across the country that is for the nit iit batch this is the, i don't know how many of you know me my name is arx and i have done this classes in iit bombay exactly these 49 classes was the first one intro and of course i i suspect that uh, they also do not want to attend more than 50 classes but these 50 classes over a period of one year were more than sufficient for a lot of people to crack the exam okay uh, one second guys if you don't mind one second so i'm continuing with the class so this is what i am saying guys the class plan for the next one year is on a broad basis I, I was saying that at iit bombay we have done these classes i've personally done these classes and i feel that what ingredients have to be given will come through these classes but that's not going to make you get into the iims what is going to make it to iims is a lot of practice for those practice sessions we will spend a lot of time on workshops specific uh, specific cat level questions from the last 20 years of cat papers when we give you the mock tests mock cats we are call, we call it the smart cats 20 smart cats are given to you over a period of 5 months for 3 to 4 to 5 months analyze we analyze every mock cat offline and 10 mock cats online as a live uh, discussion sessions individually look at whether you are improving or de decreasing in each of the sections that way we will ensure that ideally of course please realize this that we want to do this all right sometimes it's also important that you guys get in touch with us that you know push us to ensure you are improving too that's that's the plan this is what i wanted to show you quite a lot of you have joined so i thought this is a very very interesting idea of how we show you the classes so for example if i want to talk about percentage profit and loss i'm going to take you through for 5 minutes of discussion when you talk about percentage you know that percentage is nothing but per 100 cent is century correct so therefore when you talk about percentage it's per century that's the reason why all the percentages that you get for example you get 90 percent in your 10th basically 90 percent in your 10th means actually it is not 90 percent it is some kind of a mark whatever it could be it could be something like 540 marks out of 600 but somebody will give you on 600 marks somebody will give you on 1000 marks and 1000 you need to get 900 on 600 you need to get 540 together if i multiply by 100 that is per 100 i will get both of them will be obviously 90 percent so that's what is a percentage all about we will look at so whenever there is a class starting off very very basic like this it could be this basic or it could be a percentage increase percentage decrease kind of things where we will give you the basics in a whiteboard kind of thing. This is called a whiteboard where everybody can see on their screens. And then we give them questions for them to solve. Now, I'm going to introduce you to how we saw them to look at this. Let's say this is a question. This is a question which will be given on your screen. And I open up what I call a poll. I'll just show you this. So I open up a poll and say hey guys i am going to give you 2 minutes to oh there is a file error is what it says somewhere once again whether i can do this just a second before i continue i, I see if i can give you the poll in the meantime why don't you please solve this question are you recording Are you able to give it or not? Shall I continue? That's the problem. Okay. This is the poll. Okay, guys. I'll just show you. Uh, this is the poll that we have given. By the way, some of you have already got the answer. 14 of you are there on the class, as you can see. Uh, Divya was telling you. You can uh, just, if you can, those of you who have given the answer, please give me the answer. Right. 
all of you can just finish if you uh, it's uh, normally i can give about 2 minutes because it's a little delayed that's why it's taking a little time in progress there is somebody who is writing see i can see that kishore is still checking out anil dheeraj tejashri nehal pradeep varsha ravi all of them have not put it divya has answered kishore has answered prashant ravi venkatesh vikram all of these guys have answered some of them have not answered some of them have answered i can see that ravi anil kumar varsha can you just go ahead and answer this please so eight of them have not answered six of them have answered for the moment at least there is about a minute more to go can i get the answers from the rest nehal pradeep ravi that's the beauty of it i mean you can see almost every person who is doing it or not doing it also okay shrinivas can you just uh, uh, record this or give me the control are you there because there is no recording happening i think okay recording is on fine so anyway like uh, varsha can you just answer the question itself straight away and then i'll go and show you how the polling works i'll close the poll i'll just close this poll for understanding sake and uh, i'll show you the poll results so you know typically the way the entire thing comes is the way i'm going to show you kind of share with the attendees Okay, mobile guys, I am not able to see the poll. Is it? Oh, I see. That's the reason one. Fair enough. So you send it to only me. You need to send it. To, you send it to everybody else too. So the answer, as some of you got it, four of you have got it right. Some of you have got it wrong. But just look at how we can solve it in a exam, like in a class like scenario, and so that you will understand how we will actually take it up. An item P is sold at ten percent profit. per 550 10% profit means it is sold at 1.1 of the cost 1.1 of the cost is given as 550 so the cost is 500 if it were sold for 20% profit that means if it were sold for 20% profit the selling price would have been 600 it would have got a profit the profit would have been 100 which is equal to the cost price of item q that means 100 is the cost price of item q find the selling price of item q if it were sold at 10% loss if the cost price is 100 10% loss will be 90 hence answer is 90 here obviously the easy question but this is a kind of an original cat question guys by the way guys okay look at the next question can somebody solve this in a, in a actual exam you can do it prashant but uh, in this one you may not actually that's the only problem theek hai Okay, here is the open poll. You can see it. I've just opened the poll. If you can see, simple question. those of you got your answer please mark or also you can send it to me those of you who are not able to see the poll please send as a chat to me okay two of them given an answer C of them given answer three different answers. Wow. Okay. 
only one of these three answers is correct obviously like unfortunately i don't know who three has it kishor prashant vikram one of you are correct one of you is correct sorry that is the correct english ravi unfortunately not correct now i can see who is getting me right or wrong also straight away if i you know that that is the beauty of this system guys i can actually see who is doing it right wrong in how much time also okay the time is over 2 minutes are over and you'll get the poll results if i apply kind of things right this poll results are already recorded for me and i can go back and check it out whenever i want it the others have all, all not answered i'm not bothered about it but just look at how to solve this question very interesting question let's say this is my cost price let's say somewhere here is my cost price a uh, item should be sold for 50 more to get a 10% profit so if i want a 10% profit this is the 10% profit number instead of a loss of 15% that means somebody he has got a 15% loss that means clearly this point is 0.85 remember this and this is 0.1 that's all it is means this difference this difference of from the cost price 15% on the left is the loss he has got actually a loss of 15% that means this is the loss instead of this loss he would have got 10% profit had he sold at 50 rupees more in other words this 15 here and 20 here 25% is 50 rupees what is 100% 200 rupees that's the answer that's the question and that's the answer obviously the first time you do it it might be difficult but take my word for it it is not at all difficult in that sense of the word it is easy once you understand that this is a simple logic for it let's look at the third question let's see if you can quickly do this guys one more minute we'll give open poll again i'm giving you a poll for 2 minutes the idea here is only to show you how to do it there are one more person extra has joined today join just now okay almost one more minute who has given me the answer pavan ravi and vikram have given the answers again only one person is right i i should have checked who is right prashant please give an answer Kishor has given an answer. Three of them have got different answers. My goodness, this is some. Um, I I I I can clearly see that some of you have forgotten your basics. Anyway, that's okay. That's understandable too. It's been a long time since you have passed your ninth and tenth. Six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Let's. I'll just share. Uh, this is the poll. Let's look at how to do this. A fan and a cooker are sold at nine hundred ninety each. This is the selling price. Seller gets ten percent profit and a ten percent loss on each item. The answer, by the way, is percent loss. Let's look at this. Selling price is nine hundred ninety. In one of them, he gets ten percent profit. That means this is one point one of C. If if this is selling price one, cost price one is let's say I call it this is equal to one point one C. If this is one point one C. Cost price is nine hundred. In selling point, if this is one 
way I look at it. Then let's say selling point two is 990 again. But here he's got a loss of 10%. Uh, that is, this is point 0.9. So what should be the cost to 1100? So clearly you see this 1100 plus 900 is total cost of 2000, whereas 990 plus 990, the total cost is 1980. So he's losing 20 rupees. 20 rupees is 21%. Hence, answer is 1% loss. Okay, again, this is a very standard question. If the selling price is constant, if selling price is, sorry, not constant, is same, and in one he gets P percent profit and the other he gets P percent loss, the total will be a loss of P square by 100%. That's a very simple formula. Somebody asked me what is the formula. We will also derive this formula. Those of you who have got no profit, no loss, this is when, when you are given the cost price is same. Let's say the cost price is 100. If you sell it at 10% profit, you will get at 110. If you sell it at 10% loss, you will sell it at 90. So together it will be 200 and two items at 200. Therefore, then the loss and profit will be zero. Obviously, right? If one is sold at a 10% profit, you are selling it at 110. And the other one you are selling at 10% loss, you are selling it 90. Together you are selling it at 200. Two items you are selling it at 200, whose cost price for two items will be 200. Then the, there is no loss, no profit. But that is the point when the cost price is the same. In this particular case, the selling price is the same. He sold, the selling price is the same. In such a kind of a case, it's always going to be a loss. 10% into 10% by 100, that's the answer. 10% into 10% by 100% is the loss. And that's 1% loss. We'll do one or two questions more and then kind of further today, at least we'll call it a day kind of thing. Now, I'm not going to give you a poll for this, guys. Just going to solve it to you, how you will solve it in this. A dishonest vendor claims to sell his items at cost price, but instead he uses, using of a, instead of using a 1 kg weight, he uses a 900 gram weight. Find his actual profit or loss. Obviously, he's getting a profit. Instead of selling 1 kg, he's selling only 900 grams. That means when he's selling 900, he is getting the cost of 1000 grams. He is getting the value of 1000 grams, whereas he is selling only 900 uh, worth of goods. In other words, his profit is 100 grams, but this 100 grams is on 900, hence answer will be 1 by 9. 1 by 9 will be 11.11%. 11 .11%. So the answer will be B. Again, friends, the reason I'm, I will do these kind of questions again and again, because it's an intro class, what I'm trying to show is how you will get trained and your questions in, the, in terms of poll gets recorded so that it becomes easier for you kind of thing. That's the, that's the, that, that's the plan also kind of things. Okay? Of course, this one I'm not even uh, saving these polls, but most of these polls I, we will save so that it is easier for us to reproduce how much you have done in life, uh, what all you have done so that Sometime later, when we need to kind of analyze which areas you are not strong in, it becomes much, much more easier for us to solve it. As you can see, uh, for the last few minutes, I have removed my video also. Sometimes it's possible that the bandwidth is not strong. When the bandwidth is not good, what we do basically is to, uh, uh, you know, switch off the video so that the audio at least goes through comfortably well. Some of you may have lower, uh, initially, I mean, it's not that it's a movie going on kind of things because you'll be concentrating on the questions. We may not always have the video on. That will ensure that there's a lot more of, uh, you know, uh, concentration also. Also, another thing, and interestingly, for example, Nehal Nayak is there, Pavan and Pradeep are there. They are not seeing this screen. Probably they are doing something else. There is a Rajashekar and uh, Tejasri who are on and off coming and going. Whereas I know that a Pavan, uh, uh, Ravi Anil, Varsha, Vikram, Kishore are actually on the same screen that I am looking at. That is the beauty of this entire goddamn thing. You know, you can't escape also. I'm not saying, okay, Prashant Karanli has now gone off. He is not seeing the screen at least that I am seeing. Whether he may be in a different screen or not, it doesn't matter. But, you know, Pradeep and pra uh, Prashant, clearly I can see that friends, somewhere you have gone off. Okay, Prashad is back now. That is the level at which our friends have done technology. So that, of course, I'm not going to be, you know, uh, trolling you in that sense. 
uh, but just realize that that way there is a lot more concentration, lot lot more mentorship. And I'm pretty sure that you're not going to waste two hours of your time coming into a class if you are not interested in getting into an IIM, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, or Calcutta from the world. And that is where I'm saying, friends, you, we will come into picture too. The last question, I'll leave it. One more question I think I have. It's a beautiful question. Solve it for two minutes. Uh, Srinivas, if you can just give the, uh, you know, poll, I'll be absolutely thrilled with this. This particular question. Thank you very much. This is the poll, guys. Give it two minutes. Let me see who can solve it. This is an original cat question, by the way. Nobody is in progress also. Just solve this guys, after that the next 20 minutes I'm going to leave you. 10-15 minutes I'm going to leave you. Today at least. Once we have all the classes going on, I hope that you will be fully awake for the one and a half, two hours that we'll take. Divya, what's your answer? I mean, we are just losing the time. Nobody has done this. All right, two minutes are over. I'm surprised. What happened? Nobody has got it, is it? Very funny. Okay, guys. I hope all of you are uh, looking here. Tejashri, Nehal, Pradeep, just get back. Rajat, also get back. Others. Okay, let me solve this question. It's not an easy question, obviously. It's one of the slightly difficult ones. Which is exactly the reason why, even if it's basic arithmetic, I think you need to go back and do your basics too. A vendor sells his goods such that he makes a profit of X percent on selling X items. Let's look at this. If he is selling one item, let's say the cost price is 100. He gets 101 rupees. So, 1 rupee extra, 1 percent. First, one item, 1 percent. Now, if he sells two items, Two items, the cost price will be 200 clearly, and he should get what? 2%. 2% two on 200 will be 104 rupees. So totally he should get 104 rupees, which is nothing but 101 and 103. Just realize this, first item he is selling, if this is the cost price, this is the selling price. Selling price is 101, 1% on one item. In the second item, if he sells two items, the cost price is 200, he should get 2%. 2% two percent. Two percent means 2% two on 204, 200 is 204. 204 he gets, that means. But the first item uh, selling price was 101. In other words, the second item selling price is clearly 103. If he sells three items, the cost is 300 and he should get 309. If the first item is 101, second item is 103, the third item will obviously be 105. Just understand this, this is a simple progression which is getting understood in, in this manner. If you have fifth item, you will do 525. So it is 105 plus 107 and therefore it is 109 is the fifth item selling. You can see this, fourth item will be, one, four, third item will be 105, fourth item will be 101, 103, 105, 107. Therefore, the fifth item has to be 109. 
if my selling price was 100 my fifth item selling price fifth item selling price will be 109 if the fifth item selling price is 218 that means my cost price should have been 200 if the cost price is 200 now look at it it's a simple arithmetic that you need now can you tell me what is the ninth item will be fifth item will be 5 into 2 minus 1 ninth item will be 9 into 2 minus 1 in that sense of the word so what will be the answer can anybody tell me Please understand for the, the, the uh, for 100 it is 109, for 200 it will be 218. So there is a simple progression on this. That means 202, 204, 206, 210, 214, 218. This is what is happening. So can you tell me what is the ninth item therefore? I mean. Can somebody answer? I'm surprised. Why is nobody answering? Hello. I hope you understood the idea. I'm just repeating this for everybody's sake. If there is one item, if the cost price is 100, my selling price will be 101 because I am getting 1% profit on selling. 1% 1 on 100 is 1. So selling price will be 101. Very good Ravi, finally. Uh, if two items are there, 200 is the cost price, my profit will be 2%. That means my total selling price will be 204. If total selling price is 204, First, first item, the selling price was 101, therefore the second item will be 103. Similarly, the third item will be 104. Fourth will be 5, fifth will be 9. Ninth will be into uh, 2 minus 1, 17. So, if it is 100, my answer would have been 117. But it is 200, answer will have to be 234 as my friend Ravi has got it correctly. Ravi Anil has got it correctly. What we will do friends, as I can clearly see, as I will, I have showed you, in a class of two hours, any topic will be picked up and that basics of the topic will be first taught on a whiteboard, like I showed you this whiteboard. And after which, questions for that topic, for each of the concepts will be uh, given on the screen as well as in the poll, so that we record both of these things. So that at the end of the class, we are in a position or uh, at the end of the day, each one of you is in a position to figure out how good or bad you are and we also for a record understand what you can do. Again, it will be individually and only shared with the individual so that at every given point of time, you will improve upon your own uh, level of preparation. Okay. So, this is what our plan for, uh, apart from the classes friends, the other thing that I would like you to do, the next two, three minutes I'm going to talk about, whether you are in the second year or third year, it is very, very important. It's not just 10th, 12th and degree marks that is important, but you have to improve your CV value. Every semester, if you are in the third semester or the fourth semester or the fifth semester, please do two projects over and above whatever is happening in the class. Total projects minimum to be done is four, maximum at least is eight. I mean, not maximum eight, at least eight, four to eight over second and third years, if not in the final year. I'm not talking about the main project that you are anyway have to do. This is the outside the projects. Do some research projects. We will be able to help you in research projects. In places like Circle, we all, I mean, in a couple of places, we are also saying we will do internships with your students if you want. Digital marketing interns, marketing research interns, internship, website internships, or even technical internships. We can do, or we can help you get them in from various other companies also. Digital marketing could be a great idea. Those of you are interested in finance, it just might be a good idea to take the national stock exchange test. National Stock Exchange tests on finance will also, if required, be give you fundamentals of finance so that it will become easier for you to do it. This is over and above all the classes we do, that we do for CAT. Divya is asking what else we do. We will take care of basics of economics, understanding the budget of the country, understanding the reforms of the country, understanding any of the uh, you know economic uh, policies that come in the country in our GK classes. These are going to be interspersed in our CAT classes so that each one of you is going to get a, you know, 
a overall development a personality development rather than only preparing for cat once you prepare for cat with us i can assure you that you are going to be better off than any other student who have who, you know, who have not gone through this kind of uh, uh, holistic training cfa those of you are really really interested in investment banking and or getting into corporate finance there is a reason why you can do a cfa of course we can't help you do a cfa straight away but we can advise you how you should do it kind of thing last but not the least may i just recommend that every one of you participate in intra and inter college activities extra curricular curricular cultural sports doesn't matter what it is in fact i was in nit bhopal manit the other day just one week back there is a beautiful club called a pixel club that is a photography club they took me around the entire club i mean they were mind boggling photographs that she showed us brilliant and it it's like the thinking and uh, they've exhibited out of some thousands they've exhibited some hundred out of them with a complete brilliant team on travel and uh, breast cancer in that entire photograph uh, photography uh, you know the place i understood a lot of things and these guys who have done it get excellent cv value i mean i'm not saying that's one simple thing likewise please do a lot of these things we will help you there wherever i that's what i'm saying i am connecting in fact i'm going to bhopal next week i am going to nit trichy once again this third the idea of nit's iit chennai and iit hyderabad are in touch with us uh, iit karakpur is what we are we are doing a fest along with them our choice is that within the next 3 to 4 months 3 to 4 months we will ensure in the next 3 to 4 months we will ensure that uh, we connect you to the best of the students in the country too that way not only that you will be in touch with us who have this background of uh, from being from an engineering and or an i am background but also understand what is your real competition is across the country too okay that's going to be our friend uh, idea guys i just switched off my video because it seems to be buffering a little more than normal this is my team that you will talk to on a regular basis this is the main team that i have talked to the person whom some of you have met in varangal and will meet in calicut and uh, the thing is uh, calicut you will meet rahul those of you who are there i i was there in suratkal uh, at trichy we are going to kind of this at bhopal also so i plan to be there iit hyderabad and iit chennai once again between two of us we will be there or nishant will be there this is my 10 member team who is going to train you of this the main two people whom you will contact on a regular basis my head of online is ms ashwinas both of us are shrinivasas by the way one is ark shrinivas that is ask me and ashwinas who is also my uh, the person who is also there as a panelist right now sitting and trying to answer this questions between the two of us we'll ensure that every one of you is taken care of in your preparation for the exam okay that's that's the promise for us from us as said this is the class these are the email id is guys and lena is my counselor her number also have given you can also take down our numbers our website is cat.vistamind.com each one of you will get a user id and password with this user id and password you can write any number of tests a lot of these classes which you are taken will be put up on website the schedule for this classes for all your classes also we will kind of you know give you an advance information so that you can plan these classes to uh, to pl plan your you know schedules to so that it will not interfere with your uh, engineering work in that sense okay that's what we are as i said this is a 1 hour 15 minute class that i wanted to do i hope this was a useful class to give you an overview of how vista mind can help you and who we are to help you there as you can see my team is a very very strong team i don't know how many of you know me at all i'll just introduce myself my name is arch i'm an engineer from usmani university college of engineering uh electronics and communication 1993 batch for two years i was teaching for cat itself at an institute called time uh post that i uh, joined iim calcutta that is 95 97 so i was teaching when i was 95 97 even when i was in iim calcutta for st xavier's in kolkata uh, that's a bcom one of the top schools for economics and commerce 95 97 to 2000 i worked with maruti udyog limited that's maruti suzuki today the largest car, passenger car manufacturer was in the sales territory 
I was, I was taking care of territory manager, uh, uh, I was taking care of sales, sorry, as a territory manager. 2001, I joined the time one of the large institutes for CAD and other entr in entrance examinations. I was the All India CAD director for four years, and then another six years, I was in time Mumbai, heading the Mumbai division, taking about from 50 students to 15,000 students over the six, six years that I was there. Started my own business school in 2010 and started Vistamind along with five of others who are all IIM graduates and former directors of, directors of time. Taught a lot of, lot of students across the country. Uh, it's been four years. We pioneered the live online training. There are a lot of online courses, but online courses mostly are, you know, videos. Some of you will obviously want videos. Divya was asking, what if I can't attend a class? We will ensure that this video is available to you completely. Having said this, what we are planning actually to do is not just that the video is available, that is in which way going to happen, but the same class can get repeated once or twice because there is a possibility that different uh, sets of people join at different times and we will kind of combine all of them together in the next three to four months to come, okay? So we will get it completely on the website, that is it is going to be on your student home portal friends so that you don't have to worry anything about it, okay? In fact, let me just show you something, if I can uh, share my screen for a moment. I will just show you. I'm just show, uh, uh, showing what my website is and what you will see when you join us and you will get a username. This is the kind of a user ID and password we'll show you. Oh. I think I'm okay. Here is here we go. It is like this is my results. I so you get online tests. You can go and uh, uh, write these tests. I'm just showing you the. I hope all of you are able to see this. Why is this slow? As usual, whenever you want to show something, it is slow. This is called. So, for example, All India Smart Cats. There is a Smart Cat 10605 going on. I can start the test, and you know, this is the section start test. I can start the test the exactly the same way you will do it in the CAT exam. This is the, in fact, this is exactly the way the CAT exam looks like. You will see a calculator. You will see on the right side there is a calculator on this verbal ability section, data interpretation section, quantitative ability section. You can actually see it the way the, uh, the except writing smart cat will be written cat 2016 or 2017 or 2018. This is the kind of a screen that you will be shown. Anyway, I will get out of this for the moment. You can see we go back to the home page. There is, for example, I have a schedule for the week. This is the kind of schedule will be shown to you, All India schedule. This is a whole All India online schedule that we have. Right from April, you know how many classes are happening and all these sessions are given here. As you can see in October, for example, this is this is not available for you. For example, today is what? 26th. So today, there is a class actually going on right now. There is a geometry class going on. As we speak, there is another class for CAT 2016 going on between 9.30 and 11.30. Somebody has to just go and you can see attend now. Once you have downloaded and you are a student, you will get this entire information and you just go there and click it and you can attend the class straight away. You don't even have to remember what the session ID is, like we have sent it to you today. Tomorrow, for example, there is a session on probability or the day after our trigonometry. As you can see, n number of classes. November also the schedule will be now made tomorrow, day after tomorrow kind of things. As you can see, because of Diwali, there will be no class on 29th and 30th of October. So the idea here is, guys, as you can see, we make sure that your Pavan, we will send you that mail for that Pavan. This is this is the first class. Uh, we are, you know, gathering a lot of uh, uh, more students coming into this batch. Therefore, the next class information will be shown to you, or will be given to you in a in a in a maybe three days time kind of things. So that's what we are, friends. This is the information. Please, may I request all of you to tell your classmates, your juniors, and probably some of the seniors who are riding CAT 17 or CAT 18 to get in touch with us. These are the mails, and we will definitely, definitely take care of it. Pawan, if you join the class and you are not uh, informed, 
absolutely i think it is the teething initial troubles but all of you will start getting in fact we will kind of make a one single whatsapp group for the people who come in so that the information will be available to you straight up okay uh, apologies on whatever the